Hello, my natural queens. I am here to show you all my wash and go daily routine with her natural products. Here I'm starting off with freshly washed hair. I use the old t-shirt because towels normally break off your hair and dry it out, but with the t-shirt, it does not do that. So I'm just dividing my hair into four sections and pinning each section up so that I can work each section one at a time. I washed my hair with olive oil shampoo and did a deep conditioner with Her Natural Hair Growth Deep Treatment for 30 minutes under a heated cap. I will post those two products after this video. So again, I'm just dividing my hair into four sections and clipping it up while I work out on one section at a time. Then I just take my handy dandy spray bottle, re-wet my hair because my hair does dry up pretty quick. Then I'm going to go in with the Her Natural Detangler and Leave-In Conditioner and work that in from root to tip. And while I'm working it in, I'm just gonna make sure that I finger detangle my hair before I actually use the comb on my hair. And when I take the comb to my hair, I make sure that I start from the bottom and then work my way up to the top just to avoid any type of breakage. And then I'll do the same thing with all of the four sections. I'm just gonna speed it up uh, until I get to the next product. Here's just my little dollop. So now I am finally done conditioning my hair. Now I have to get the little small piece. I did get my hair shaved last summer um, in the back and it's growing back. This is what it looks like. So I'm just gonna make sure that is conditioned as well. Can't forget about the little small pieces. I realized once I did shave the back of my hair and when it grew back, the texture of my hair was way more better than the regular texture of my hair. Because when I went natural, I did not do the big chop I just cut off the um, perm. But here I'm just using the Her Natural Whip Shea Butter. This is to moisturize my hair and lock in the moisture. Now this step can be either last or before you add your styling product. What I love about the Whip Shea Butter is the softness that it provides my hair as well as the shine. And of course you know that the Shea Butter is great for your body as well. So I just work that in from root to tip or tip to root, whichever direction you wanna go. 
but I just make sure that all of my hair is fully moisturized with the shea butter. Once I have applied the whipped shea butter, I go in with the coil and curl defining custard, which will define my curls as well as give it a medium hold. And the product will last in your hair for about a good two to three days with this wash and go. Now I'll just go ahead and apply that into my hair, working it from root to tip. And if I was to have my hair like sectioned in smaller sections, then it would be like all the way defined. But what I do love about this product is that my curls do not shrink. It stays stretched into the actual curl length. And it also makes my curls not as crunchy and hard. So I love that medium hold that it does provide. Once I have that worked into my hair, I'll go ahead and just twist it up so that I can start working on the rest of my hair. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and speed it up for you guys. So then once I'm done, I can show you the final results. All right, so I've added all the product in my hair. Now it's time to let my hair loose and start to style it into the style that I will be rocking for the day. So I decided just to go ahead and keep my hair down. Go ahead and let my curls flow. And as you can see, I did have some color in my hair. I just added that today. I was so tired of just wearing just the black. I needed something for the spring. And I don't know, I just got the idea off of Pinterest. So hopefully it turned out right. <laughs> We'll see how it goes. I left the front of my hair black because I love to wear protective styles and half wigs. And I really did not feel like going out buying a different color wig just to match my hair color if I was to dye the front. So I just left it black. So now I'm just going in, styling my hair, getting it prepared. My curls is popping. I will leave it in this style for the day and I will show you guys what it looks like after my hair is fully dry. One last final thing, my hair texture is a 3C. Um, I realized that in the middle of my hair, it might be a 4A because it's a different texture than the rest of my hair. Maybe I should have got the big chop so that all of my hair could have been the same texture, but I don't know. I'm a little afraid of the big chop, but then again, I might do it, but who knows? While I'm styling my hair, I like to go back in with some more product. Not a lot, just a little bit, just to make sure that I didn't miss any spots. Make sure that the curls is going to be all the way popping, especially since I do have a different texture in the middle of my hair. I just want to make sure that that is fully moisturized. And as you can see, I didn't even need any eco styling gel, which is amazing. That's why I love these products, because you're just not weighing your hair down. I'm just taking my brush, looking down my baby hairs. Really, I'm just done styling my hair. If y'all guys like the video, please like and subscribe, my natural queens. And that's it. 
I hope y'all have a blessed day. These are the four products that I use of her natural products. And I also use this lovely olive oil shampoo and the hair growth deep treatment.